So the 11060 approach is an aspirational goal. We've we've heard about it in the market and in industry as a as a as a best practice to address se uh, security events um, that uh, that everybody faces. And I'll ask Paul if you want to talk through this concept for the audience. Yeah, I'd love to. So one one ten sixty is it is an industry ideal. Um, and with that being said, I, I I think a lot of organizations can acknowledge that they're they're not there yet but it's what we strive towards. So it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's three pillars um, in terms of security. So the one is really one minute to detect. So um, when an intruder compromises your network, uh, time is of the essence. So if you're unable to prevent the intruder from gaining access and they do actually get onto your network or onto an endpoint, you have to be able to detect that intrusion as quickly as possible. Um, this isn't always the case. And, and, and sometimes, you know, people get in, they sneak in and, and intruders can stay undetected on networks for sometimes, you know, days, hours, months at a time. And it, it, it just, it varies. But to be, to be as simplistic about this as possible, the faster you detect, um, you detect an intruder or you detect access to your network that shouldn't be there, you have a much better chance at stopping that incident from growing into a widespread breach. So attacks are always going to have or likely to have interrelated steps. So the sooner you can detect or identify um, that these are happening, the sooner you can take steps to nullify and contain. So one minute to detect, which takes you to 10 minutes, which is, is investigating. So, you know, if you know that they're there, Essentially, what you want to do is try to find out as much as possible and quickly, I mean, 10 minutes is not a long amount of time, about the attack and the attacker. Um, I mean, the, the idea is that um, it's easier to stop someone when you know who they are and what they're trying to access on your network. It needs to be done quick so you can move into containment, um, and sometimes it, 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 you want it to be even quicker depending on, on how long detection took. Um, but but there has to be an investigation and an understanding of who they are in order to properly you know move on to that that quarantine and containing um, and it, it's going to help you prevent future targeting and attacks and then 60 is is 60 minutes to contain so I mean with detection and investigation already taking a certain amount of time and in most cases too long um, when someone gets access uh, 60 minutes really is the ideal time uh, to then go ahead and contain uh, contain the threat. Statistically, um, when you look at, at industry statistics, if you look at analysts, um, they do note that on, on average, um, it takes you know a lot of smaller organizations up to 31 hours to contain intruders once they get access to a network. 